In this video, I want to show you how to install Chrome OS on a PC or run it from a USB step by step using the official Chrome OS recovery image. The prerequisites are you need to have a PC with Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Education. This is because you need to have Windows Subsystem for Linux activated on this PC. You need the Ubuntu app installed. If you don't know how to activate Windows Subsystem for Linux or how to install Ubuntu, you can check for the link of one of my videos in the description on how to do this. You also need Rufus from Rufus.ie and you need a USB key size 16 GB or more. Here are the high level steps. First, we need to check the CPU model of the PC that you are going to install the Chrome OS image on. This is because in this method that I'm going to show you, there are three images depending on the CPU model. If you have an AMD model, you need to download an image called Grunt. If you have an Intel model, which is generation four or more, you need to download an image called Ramos. And if you have an Intel model, which is generation three or less, you need to download the image called Samus. And this is what we are going to do in this video. After you download the Chrome OS that corresponds to your CPU model, you need to download the matching branch release and extract it. Of course, I'm going to show you step by step in this video on how to achieve all these. Then you need to download Rufus and create the Chrome OS installable image on the USB key. The first step is to boot the target PC with the USB key and resize the USB key. And then you need to boot the target PC also with the USB key one last time and install Chrome OS on the target PC. Let's start with step one, which is check the CPU model. Start the target PC and go to the system BIOS. And under system information, you can see the processor type. Here I have a third generation CPU, so I will be downloading the Samus image. If you have a fourth generation, download the Ramos image. Once you determine the CPU model that you have, you need to go to this website in your web browser, of course. So go to cross-updates-serving.appspot.com and here you can find all the recovery images of Chrome OS. Just to show you here, this is a grunt image in case you have an AMD processor. And this is a Ramos image in case you have an Intel processor generation four or more. And this is the Samus image that we are going to download. So on the right, click on the latest version, which is 83 in this case, and the download will start. This is a pretty big download. It's approximately 1.1 gigabyte. When the download finishes, here you have to extract it. So I just right clicked on it in Windows and chose open a new window and dragged it to the same folder. I'm accelerating the video here because the extract takes a little bit of time. Once it is extracted, you can see it in the destination folder as you notice here. Now we need to go to step two, which is download the matching branch release and extract it. So you need to go to this website, open your web browser. You can find all the links in the description and all the commands also. So this is a website. It's called sites.google.com slash view slash branch slash project slash downloads. And here you see that I'm downloading the R83 version because I downloaded the Samus 83 version. So it should match. The numbers should match. And it is downloading here. It's also a zipped file. And you'll see in a minute it will finish downloading. When the branch release finishes downloading, we need to extract it, but this time using Ubuntu under the Windows subsystem for Linux. So in the search box, type Ubuntu and hit enter. And then you need to type first this command to install three packages, which are PV, tar, and CGPT. So sudo apt update and then sudo apt install PV, tar, CGPT and hit enter. Put the password for your user. Choose yes to continue the installation. The installation shouldn't take long. And once the installation finishes, you need to go to the folder where you downloaded the branch release. So here I downloaded it in the downloads folder. So in WSL, I will be changing to this folder. Go back to WSL and here 
change to the folder where you downloaded the branch release. Here, because I downloaded it in the downloads folder, so I'm putting cd slash mount slash c slash users slash my username slash downloads, and I hit enter. And let's type now ls to see what's in the folder, if we're in the correct folder, and you see that we are in the correct folder. And at this stage, we need to extract the file. So type the following command, sudo space star space zxvf space branch, and hit the tab key on your keyboard. It will populate automatically, and then press enter. The extract here should be pretty fast. Once all the files is extracted, let's check now in the downloads folder if they are correctly extracted, and you'll see that we have the extracted files here. So at this stage, we need to create the Chrome OS image that we will be copying to the USB key. Head back to WSL under the same folder, key in the following command, sudo bash chromeos-install.sh minus src space Chrome OS underscore the version that you extracted earlier using the Windows extraction dot bin space minus DST space Chrome OS dot IMG. And here is the Chrome OS image being built with this command. I'm accelerating the video here. It takes a bit of time. And here's the Chrome image ready to be copied with Rufus. It's 14 gigabyte image. Step three is to download Rufus and create the Chrome OS installable image on the USB key. So open your web browser and then go to rufus.ie. Scroll down to the middle of the page almost and then click on Rufus, the latest version. Here it is, Rufus 3.11. This is an executable file that doesn't need to be installed and it's free. Once it is downloaded, just double click on it to open it. And here in the meantime, insert a USB key into the PC. I already inserted a 128GB USB key. You can insert one as small as 16GB. Be careful because everything on the USB key will be white. So when you select the USB key, click on Select in Rufus and then select the Chrome OS image and then simply click on Start. You'll get a warning that everything will be destroyed and everything will be wiped. So click OK and wait for it to end. It takes approximately 10 minutes depending on the USB key speed and the USB port speed also on your PC. Here, of course, I accelerated the video. And once it is finished, just click on Close and then take the USB key and go to the target PC. And now I'll be switching to an external camera. Step four is to boot the target PC from the USB key and then resize the USB key. So start your target PC and go to the boot options. Here it's a Dell PC, so I pressed F12. It might be different for your PC. Go to the UEFI generic storage device and then hit enter. The PC will start from the USB key and the first start, it will take a long time. It will take around 20 to 25 minutes. So just be patient and wait for it to finish without interrupting it. And this is only the first time. So here I'm accelerating the video. So it adjusts itself and it creates some file. When it finishes, we need to resize the USB key. So when it finishes now, it will start Chrome OS, as you'll see. And this is Chrome OS starting. At this stage, you need to press Ctrl Alt F2 on your keyboard. Log in as root without password. So just put root, enter. And here you need to resize the USB key because Chrome OS will see it only as a 14 gigabyte USB key. So just type sudo space resize dash data and press enter. It shouldn't take long. And when it finishes, it will prompt you to restart the system. Just press enter to restart the system. This will take us to step five. Now the PC is rebooting. So we need to start from the USB key once again by pressing the F12 key or the key that corresponds to the model of your PC. 
choose UEFI start once again. And here is Chrome OS starting from the USB key. So at this stage, the startup will be much faster than the first time. And now when it starts, you can just log into Chrome and keep on using it as much as you want from the USB key and each time. But each time you have to press, of course, the F12 or other key for the boot options and choose the USB key. Here I'm just connecting to the network. So I'm continuing here the normal startup of Chrome OS. Just following the prompts. Log in with your Gmail account here. I'm logging in with my Gmail account. And once everything finishes, Chrome OS will start. So at this stage here, you are free to keep using it from the USB key. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to show you how to install it on the PC. Here I'm just launching the Google Play Store for you to see it. And now to install it, just press Ctrl Alt T on your keyboard, then type shell and press enter. First, you need to determine on which hard disk you are going to install it. So key in sudo space fdisk minus L. And here, depending on the size of the disk, you can determine on which disk you want to install it. Be very careful here to choose the right disk because everything on the hard disk will be wiped completely. So here I determined my disk that is called slash dev slash SDA. I determined it from its size. As you see, it's a 240 gigabyte hard disk. So this is a disk where I'm going to install Chrome OS. Now on the prompt, just type in sudo space Chrome OS dash install space minus DST space slash dev slash SD and the letter of the drive you determined earlier. So my command will be slash SDA and press enter. You will be prompted to make sure that this is the right disk. And here you have to key in yes, all of it. And then press enter and the installation will start. The installation might take a while because it is a 14 gigabyte image. So here I accelerated the video, even though I have SSD drive, it also took around 10, 15 minutes to finish. As you see on the bottom left corner, you'll have a message saying Chrome OS installed. So now all you have to do is close the terminal window and then shut down the PC and restart it. Now you may receive an error. You see now I receive an invalid partition table. This is because we have to adjust something in the PC BIOS in the boot sequence. So perform the following step only if you receive an invalid partition table message when you restart your PC. Start your PC and go into the BIOS setup and then go to the boot sequence, select UEFI instead of legacy and put the hard disk where you installed Chrome OS first and then click apply and exit. This will fix this problem as you will see. Now we're restarting the PC and Chrome OS will start normally from the hard disk. So this is Chrome OS starting. And at first start, of course, we need to configure it only this first time. This is because it's a fresh start. So I'm connecting it here to the Wi-Fi network and then logging in with my user also. Here you use your Gmail account to log in, of course, and continue the setup as you do when you prepare a Chrome OS PC. So this is a Chrome OS. The setup, of course, we do it only once. I'm launching here the Google Play so that you see how it works. And I'm going to also install an application. So let's install Instagram. So click on the search and Instagram. This is just to show you that Google Play, it will work. This is Instagram. I just clicked on install and it will download and install and I'll show you in a minute how we can start it. So it's installing now. 
and then you can find it simply by clicking there on the bottom left corner and it is in the applications as you see so if I start it it will start normally so that was it I hope you liked this video and found it useful if you think it might help others please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you all for watching